Next, I'll show you how to hide adhesive weights behind the spokes using a Coats 1500 balancer. You may want to do this for a customer that has custom wheels or is maybe fussy about having tape weights exposed in between the spokes on, on their wheels. This will hide the adhesive weights to where the customer will not see them. The first step is to make sure the wheel and tire is mounted on the balancer using the, appro the appropriate collet or pin plate. The next step is to determine which weights we want to hang on this wheel. For this wheel here, we'll use clip-on weights on the inboard plane and adhesive weights on the inboard plane or the T2 location. And these will be the weights that we will be hiding. The next step will be to enter the dimensions. And so to do that, we will extend our A and D arm to the edge of the wheel until it beeps. Next, we'll position our laser where we want to hang the adhesive weights for the T2 location. Then using our line laser, we'll extend the A and D arm out until those two laser points are matching. Then we'll retract our A and D arm and now we're ready to spin. We'll close the hood. Once our measuring spin is complete, the amounts of corrective weight will be displayed at the top here on the balancer. For our inboard location, using the laser here, we will hang a one ounce and quarter weight here. Now we'll hit the next button to go to our T2 or outboard lo location. And right now the laser is pointed where if we hung weights there, the owner of the vehicle would be able to see those weights. So in order to hide the weights behind the spokes, the first step is to be indexed on the outboard or the T2 location, then hit the behind the spoke button. Next, you will rotate the wheel towards you until the laser is centered on the first spoke. Then hit spoke one to mark that location. Next, rotate the tire and wheel away from you until the laser pointer is behind the second spoke location. And then hit spoke two to mark that location. Now, using the next button, you can simply toggle between both weight lo locations behind each spoke. And be aware, you now have three separate weight locations. You have the clip weight on the inboard side and two tape weight locations now on the outboard side. So here's our ounce and a quarter weight and using our laser, I'm gonna go ahead and apply this weight. I'm gonna hit the next button. And right now the balancer is indexed on uh, the first spoke location and it's asking for a full ounce. So we're gonna hang one ounce there. That hides so nicely behind the first spoke. Next, we'll go to spoke two. And it is only asking for half an ounce behind spoke two. So we'll hang half an ounce, centered perfectly using our laser behind the second spoke location. And we'll go ahead and take uh, our measuring run for our check spin. We just completed our check spin, and now you can see we're zero on the inboard, zero on the outboard, and this wheel is balanced.